Looks like we're already in the future of mind curing illnesses, beating lifelong paralysis, and seeing humans with super memory. All thanks to BCI technology and a small piece of plastic from Synchron, a neurotechnology startup, aka Neuralink's rival. With the startup kicking off its human trials, it's currently pulled ahead of the Musk owned neurotech company. How's the tech giant taking it? Well, he's planning to buy Synchron. What does this mean for the future of Neuralink? Is it an attempt from Musk to take out the enemy? Join us as we find out. First, let's take a look at Synchron's work so far. Synchron is a New York-based startup dedicated to one goal only, and that's restoring lives by deciphering the neural code of the brain. Have they done it though? Well, as unbelievable as it sounds, yes. Back on July 19th, 2022, Synchron announced that it had completed its first in-human brain computer interface, BCI, implant operation in the US. The procedure was carried out at Mount Sinai West in New York. Using an endovascular BCI approach, it was the first of its kind as it didn't require invasive open brain surgery like other companies such as Neuralink. This was the first patient implant operation in the company's command trial, operating under FDA investigational device exemption in the US. The purpose of these trials is to assess the safety and efficacy of Synchron's groundbreaking motor BCI technology, aka the Stentrode. The chips will allow patients to control wirelessly controlled devices simply by thinking about them. Surprisingly, the procedure doesn't require robot assistance, unlike Neuralink. Dr. Sharam Mahidi, the assistant professor who performed the surgery, said that this was an exciting milestone for the field as the lucky patient was able to go home 48 hours after the surgery. Overall, the company plans to enroll a total of six patients for this project. If you want to know more about Neuralink's different approach to BCI compared to Synchron, make sure you stay to the end. But for now, let's take a closer look at how Stentrode works. So, how does Stentrode, aka the magical chip, make the impossible possible? Well, as is obvious from the name, the electrodes enter the system on a permanently implanted stent-like device. The Stentrode is actually a net-like material with 16 sensors attached to it. When inserted in the motor cortex, the electrodes pick up signals from the brain, aka the signals for an individual's intended actions. On that note, Synchron Stentrode is implanted in the major cortex through a minimally invasive endovascular procedure via the jugular vein. The Synchron Brain O's tech then sends those signals to the receiver unit, which, by the way, is planted in the chest. The unit then sends the signals to the brain and generates signals for movement. The tech in question is responsible for translating the signals into real-time clicks and keystrokes on a mobile device or computer. An additional eye-tracking device is also inserted to move the cursor on the computer. Now, let's take a look at the Australia 2019 trials. The Thomas Oxley-led startup has already carried out the trial in Australia, where it tested the technology on four patients. And guess what? It was a huge success. According to the company's reports from earlier this year, the implant stayed in place for the entire first year and didn't lead to any adverse effects. In fact, the Stentrode promised satisfactory results in all four patients who participated in the trial. What's impressive is that patients were able to achieve typing speeds of at least 14 characters per minute, and that's without the predictive text technology. Coming up, let's explore the limitations of Synchron. Is Synchron really unbeatable? They helped one ALS patient tweet using the chip and another to send messages using WhatsApp Messenger and even do some online shopping. While those achievements are commendable, let's make one thing clear. Synchron is not on the path to creating any superhuman cyborgs. Even though the device is the first of its kind, it comes with its limitations. For starters, the chip is not in direct contact with any neurons. The electrodes are placed in the blood vessels inside the brain. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that the bandwidth is not great and that the chip is not on the same level as Musk plans to do with Neuralink chips. Moving on, let's take a look at Neuralink's progress. So, where's Musk with Neuralink in terms of brain-computer interface progress? 
Surely, the man setting milestones in both the EV and aerospace industry must be way ahead of the competition. Well, think again. Neuralink is nowhere near Synchron, that's for sure. The Musk-owned startup is a little different from Synchron in the sense that it requires implantation through the skull, while Synchron relies on minimally invasive procedures. Now, while the two may have been on a somewhat similar path, it looks like Thomas beat Musk to the punch. Neuralink had announced its plans to file for FDA approval for human trials back in 2020, but since then there's hardly been a peep on the matter from them. It seems like the Musk-owned startup is still in the process of receiving approval and is instead stuck in the animal testing phase. How's that going, you ask? Well, considering that Neuralink and the University of California Davis were accused of egregious violations of the Animal Welfare Act, we're gonna say, not so well. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine discovered that the carelessness of these facilities is resulting in the suffering and death of several monkeys. They cited documents obtained through a public records lawsuit, so you best believe them. Coming up, a look at Neuralink's achievements. Now don't go underestimating Musk and Neuralink. The Silicon Valley company has succeeded in implanting its microchips in a pig named Gertrude and a monkey named Pager. In fact, they even released a video of a monkey playing the video game Pong using its brain. But Musk's goal isn't to make monkeys play video games, but to reduce the latency in human-machine communication. The company's ultimate goal is to implant chips in human brains to help patients with neural disorders. He wants to merge consciousness and machine intelligence into one, and yes, that does sound like the plot to a Black Mirror episode, but it's what we call reaching for the skies. Musk came out in January to announce plans for human trials, and even opened up calls for a clinical trial director. So, you know, expect good things. Next up, Musk wants to join hands with Synchron. Looks like we're not the only ones impressed with Synchron's work. According to one Reuters article, Musk is looking to partner up with brain chip implant developer Synchron Inc., which is not a surprise. The company definitely knows what it's doing. According to reports, the tech giant apparently reached out to Thomas Oxley, Synchron's chief executive, to discuss a potential deal. Unfortunately, that's all we know about the matter. Finally, could the two companies be able to benefit one another? Well, sorry to be the ones to break the cold-hearted truth, but that's a hard no. The two companies may look like they have the same goals, aka creating a seamless brain-computer interface, but they're taking entirely different approaches to achieve their goals. Their procedures are worlds apart from one another. On that note, Synchron doesn't need any technical help from the billionaire entrepreneur, and neither does Neuralink. In fact, Musk is gunning for something far more complex compared to Stentrode, which might just explain the company's slow progress. So, why did these two sit down for a supposed deal? We honestly don't know. The meeting doesn't seem too out of the pocket when you consider that Musk and Thomas might be friends. These two did, after all, take the stage together at the TED Talk conference in Vancouver earlier in April. It might be that Musk is looking to invest in Synchron, given its mind-blowing progress. He wouldn't be the first one, that's for sure. Max, the ex-Neuralink co-founder, beat Elon to the punch last year as he invested in Synchron. Other than that, Musk might be looking to pool resources since he's reportedly frustrated with his own startup's progress. Let's also make another thing clear though. Synchron's progress doesn't take anything away from Neuralink. These two are working for the good of mankind, so instead of competing against each other, it'd be much more fruitful if the two actually pooled their resources for a project or two. All in all, we expect good things from both of them. Alright guys, so when do you think we will see the first Neuralink test on human beings? And what do you think of Musk approaching Synchron? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the most interesting Elon Musk news.